वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम पी एस बख्शी एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए टॉपिक ऑफ फिजिक्स टेन प्लस वन एंड विच इज नोन एज मोशन इन ए वर्टिकल सर्कल एज यू नो दे इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी ए नमेरिकल अबाउट मोशन इन ए वर्टिकल सर्कल इन नीड एंड आई आई एग्जाम्स एज वेल सो बाई अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट टॉपिक यू कैन सॉल्व ऑल काइंड ऑफ नमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ दोज कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स एज वेल Now, first of all, we are talking about a vertical circle here. So, I am just making a vertical circle here. So, you can take any body which is having a mass m. So, if we are having a radius r here, and that is going to be the central point here. Okay. So, we are just uh, having a velocity of v1 because that. mass m is circulating so let's assume that is moving in uh, anti clockwise direction so let's assume that is going to be the highest point here so here we are also having m so with the velocity you can take it as v2 now we can mark the the lower and highest point as points uh, you can name any point that is a and that is going to be a point b as you know there is always going to be a tension in the string as well now that mass is attached with the string and we are going to weld it in a vertical circle so which means that mass is attached with the string and we are moving it in a vertical circle so uh, the tension is always going to be toward the center so as you know so here we are also having tension t2 here now one more thing the weight of that body as you know the weight of the body is always going to be vertically downward in both the cases that is going to be vertically downward now that is our diagram here so i am just again explaining it all of you with, uh, for all of you that is the point a the lowest point the velocity is v1 the mass is m mg is going to the weight and tension t1 is always going toward the center of the vertical circle similarly that is center o tension t2 is towards the center o mass is always vertically downward and v2 is going to be the velocity at the highest point now how we are going to calculate some formulas about that how we can calculate the velocity at the lower end of vertical circle and higher end of the vertical circle now we are going to calculate that it's going to be very easy first of all we are talking about the lowest point here so if we are talking about the lowest point now that lowest point is a here okay so now obviously if that body is moving in a circular path so the t1 is going to be higher than the weight because that is also going to circulate it so therefore that t1 minus mg is going to provide the necessary centripetal force now that centripetal force is going to be equal to t1 minus mg is equal to yes m v1 square upon r now that is going to be the centripetal force here so we are marking that equation as 1 now similarly at the highest point now highest point is going to be point b here in our diagram that is our point b here now same thing but now the main thing is going to be here the tension t2 and the weight both are moving in same direction which means so t2 plus the weight is going to provide the necessary centripetal force which is m v2 square upon r that is also termed as equation second now these are the two equations for the lowest and the highest point from that you can easily make the formulas now first of all we are going to calculate the velocity at the highest point for that at the highest point at the highest point t2 is always going to be zero now how this 
because we are at the top of the vertical circle now there is going to be the minimum tension in the string because of the weight is always going to vertically downward so there is going to be negligible tension in the string so which means we can take t to zero so therefore equation second becomes now equation second becomes zero plus mg is equal to yes m v2 square upon r now therefore m is going to cancel out and you can have the value of v2 square is equal to yes so that is going to be gr and v2 is equal to square root of gr now that is the velocity at the highest point in any kind of numerical or vertical circle if you want to find out the velocity at the highest point simply go through the formula of square root gr g is going to be the gravity r is going to be the radius of the vertical circle now we are marking that equation as third now how we can calculate the velocity at the lowest point for that so mechanical energy at point a is equal to mechanical energy at point b now as you know the mechanical energy is sum of kinetic energy and potential energy which means kinetic energy at point a and potential energy at point a is equal to yes kinetic energy at point b and potential energy at point b now we are just putting the formulas of kinetic energy and the potential energy as you know at point a which is the lowest point there is going to be no height no height so which means potential energy is always going to be zero here now what is going to be the kinetic energy that is half m v1 square now what is going to be the kinetic energy at point b the highest point because the velocity is v2 so that is going to be half m v2 square now potential energy formula is always going to be equal to as you know the potential energy is always equal to mgh so mass into gravity into height now the height is going to be the diameter now as you know the diameter is always going to be 2r so mg 2r because height from the lowest point is going to be the diameter of the vertical circle which is 2r okay so with that you can multiply first of all you can simply uh, cancel out m so now multiply with 2 so which means v1 square is going to be equal to yes v2 square plus 4 gr now the value of v2 can be taken from here the v2 square so we can use the equation third here so using equation third v1 square is equal to gr 4 gr which means v1 square is equal to 5 gr and the value of v1 is square root of 5 gr now that is going to be the formula required formula now that is the formula for velocity at the lower lowest point of the vertical circle and that is going to be the velocity at the highest point of any vertical circuit now the motorcyclists uh, they use that uh, velocity to circulate in a vertical circle in a circus okay so we can simply uh, assume that so they have the highest velocity at the lower end and the minimum velocity at the top end of a vertical circle hope you have understood that topic and now you are able to solve so many numericals of vertical circle as well so if you like that you can subscribe our channel share those videos to all the science students and also if you want to have the future notifications so you can just press the bell icon to all to get the future notification as well so thank you so much for watching thank you